The American Heart Association's Go Red for Women movement is in full swing. It raises awareness of cardiovascular disease and aims to inspire action that will help save lives. Minute Clinic nurse practitioner Sarah Bertini is here now to talk about keeping up with your own heart health. I know it's like one of those things that you don't think about because you don't see on outward appearance. But it's really important inside. Yes. So how big of an issue is cardiovascular disease and high cholesterol for people here in the U.S. today? We have actually made tremendous strides in America with educating the public about how to keep their cholesterol and blood pressure down with healthy diet and exercise. But approximately one in three people have either high cholesterol or high blood pressure, or oftentimes both. Approximately 40% of Americans have cholesterol over 200. And over a lifetime, that has a cumulative effect. Definitely, and there were some new guidelines released. How, you know, how are those important to us and, and how do those read? So basically, the guidelines are much more stringent than they used to be. Okay. There used to be a little bit of leeway. So our standard used to be 140 over 90 was okay. an okay blood pressure. The new standard is 120 over 80. So it's much more stringent and there's actually a lot we need to do to get to that place with modifiable lifestyle risk factors, so diet and exercise. Diet and exercise, probably the main ones that we hear a lot, just yes. important. Let's talk about blood pressure as well, monitoring that, a treatment of blood pressure, how that has changed as well over the years. So like I mentioned, our guidelines are much more stringent. So elevated blood pressure is now considered anything over 120 over 80, where um, level one um, hypertension is now considered mm -hmm. 130 over 80. Interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and let Sarah take my blood pressure to show you because I think a lot of people don't really know what's involved in it. You right. always, as a kid, I used to see the machines and like the Walgreens and stuff to kind of, uh, it's important to for you to measure and know. All right, let's see how I fare. I can't talk, can I? Uh, no, I don't talk. talk. Okay. <laughs> but you can talk. I'm sure your blood pressure will be great. <laughs> <laughs> see, not painful. <laughs> It's perfect. What do we have? 120 over 80. Right on the money. There we go. <laughs> Big check mark. And you know, it's just super simple. Like I said, you can do a lot of that in a, like a drugstore if you don't have like a primary care doctor, which is important to have though. Yes, and actually CVS Minute Clinics nationwide are offering free health risk assessments for the month of February. So come on in any Thursday in the month of February, including Valentine's Day, and we'll do a free heart health risk assessment for you. And if you have done one of those and you know you do not have good numbers for your blood pressure or your cholesterol, what is the most active step to do at that moment? So exercise and mm -hmm. diet is one of the initial things you can do. Some people will require medication regardless of what they do based on their uh, genetics and, and just overall health risk. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for sharing that all thank with us. You. Great yes. month to begin focusing on that, that heart health. Like I said, sometimes we forget about it because we're not seeing it every day, but an right. important part of your body for sure.